All righty. We've got Eli and myself here. Come here, Eli. Coming down here to the little local lagoon near Ashmont and uh, hopefully see if we can pull out a mud mullen. We're just going to bait up today and we're using our secret bait. The old super sweet corn. Uh, it's been a while since we caught a carp actually, so anyway, we'll see how we go. If we don't have any luck here, we'll go to uh, Lake Gowett or we might try Jubilee. Um, there's a little bit of water there we can fish in as well, so anyway, we'll get rigged up. One of the things that I noticed straight away after casting that in, it's pretty low here. It's very deceiving. To get the corn on the line, pretty much all we're doing is threading it on until you can't see any more hook. I can tell it it's super sweet. It's, it smells very sweet. It's like we're eating lollies. Keep an eye on your line there too, Eli. Yeah. These big guys here could pull straight in. So that's basically how we got it set up. Just see the tip. I'm going to cast it in because I need to get out of those weeds. I have been here before and uh, walked past and seen um, carp swimming in the shallows here, just feeding in the mud. So I don't know if it'll have any luck here. There just doesn't seem to be any movement out there. Now I can't see any carp surfacing or any shadows. Plenty of ducks, plenty of sheep though. Well, we've given this place here a good shot. Um, yeah, not much doing. It's really low. It's probably too low. Um, and you've got to cast out a fair way to be able to reach any of the depth, which, you know, you need a pretty big sinker. And even then, it just sinks into the mud as you're winding it in. It just, you had to like pull it out of the mud. Anyway, so here I go and try another spot now, and we'll see you at the next spot. Here you go, Eli. What we've just seen is a um, a big carp surface just down here. So Eli's going to see if he can throw it in and catch himself a fish just down there in that. See where the rocks are? Can you see all the yeah water movement? You can just see his tail in there. So you need to be able to find a way down. Oh. A no, I don't think there's a ladder entrance there. It's like a sneak down here somewhere. I'm looking for food, so. You have a fish here, I'm just going to walk up and have a bit of a look just up here a bit further and see if I can see any more. Just looking for some shadows in the water and a little bit of movement. Mm. Rubbish everywhere, just disgusting.
There's an old net here. Just discarded filthy bloody animals. Yeah, I wouldn't even call them an animal. Maybe lower than that. No bites yet, son? No. Have you seen the fish swimming around? No, not at all. He was over in that section over there before and then he swam right up to about here. So you think uh, corn was the go today? He'd be all over it. What I might do is I'll see if I can go up a bit higher. I'll see if I can go up there. And I'll get a um an overhead shot. See if I can see the shadow moving around. No, might have went a bit deeper. Look at the junk we got in here. We've got a shopping trolley and an office chair. Very odd. A bit dodgy. Radio. So now we've pulled up, um, we're at Lake Albert, we're going to have a bit of a go here. We have caught fish here before um, on Elo's birthday, we had a big party bash. Um, where we actually had it is now underwater, it's probably, probably just over there at the barbecue area back over here and uh, we had a gazebo set up down there. It's a great day. Um, this is the lake. Pretty nice, pretty popular area for everyone to go for a bit of a walk around the lake and take their dogs walks, bikes, etc. Um, and this little spot that we've pulled up looks like someone's already had a bit of success. Dead fish left in the water. Half decent sized carp there, so who knows, we might be in for one here. What can you see? Fish. Yeah. So, must be a couple in here, eh? Mm-hmm. A big... Big one. Disgusting one. Mm. Alright, well I might go get a chair. And, um, do you want to put a bell on it just in case? Uh, a bell? Yeah. Getting a bit hard to see the rod tips. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Well, we've been at the lake for probably an hour. Um, it's been very quiet. Apart from the horn just going off then, it's been very <laughs> quiet. I think there's a um, AFL footy game playing across the lake there. But yeah, it's nice scenic out here, isn't it, Eli? Yeah. Water's very smooth since the um, power boat's finished up. The moon's out, but there's not much doing in the fishing department. Unfortunately, saw some cool looking, I don't know, they weren't ducks. They were humdinging along in the uh, lake there. Little feet look like they're running on water, eh? Mm -hmm. um, we'll have some footage of that on the phone. So. But yeah, I don't think we're going to catch anything tonight. So we might head back, pick up Amelia, and we'll um, go and have some dinner and get to bed early. Got to drive to Adlong tomorrow, and we'll um, 
have a day out in Adlong and Tumut, so I'll have a go at the Tumut River, we'll see if we can catch some trout. Hit up the Goober Gandra, got some property there that I'm allowed to go on to and uh, yeah, hopefully have a great time catching a big rainbow or, or brown, so I don't think I'll keep any, it's just a matter of having fun catching them, but we'll see. Eli might take his rod and have a go fishing in the Adelong Creek, just down from his um, nanny's house. Hey, mm. sound good? Yeah. Want to try a lure? Do some spinning? Yeah. I'm going to just get some worms. I don't care. No idea. Anyway, we'll give you a quick look at the lake. It's starting to really set here, the sun, and it's just about to disappear, all the light. 